Hey YouTube, so today guys, we are back here with another review, and today we have a review here of the Trader Joe Italian Farfelli Authentic Italian Pasta. So this is bow tie pasta, in simple terms, and this is a pasta I eat on a daily basis, you know, weekly basis. This is a pasta that I buy every week, you know, I, I've tried Brilla, I've tried all the major brands, but for some reason they always come back to the Trader Joe brand, for some reason I just find this pasta more authentic, it just tastes better, you know? So, I have some olive oil here, from also from Trader Joe. I don't think you need a whole review for olive oil, but you gotta mix this in as well. It really does help with preventing the pasta from sticking to the pan, and also adding some necessary flavoring and some good amount of fat there. Obviously, I'm not fat at all. So that, that fat actually is something I, I look forward to, so I add as much as possible, you know? But, you know, here's the review here. You know, I'm, co I'm, I'm, I'm cooking this stuff right now, guys. Yeah, you're seeing me cook my lunch. Not not my entire lunch. This is more of a snack or like a, a side dish to my main lunch. Usually a protein of some sort, chicken or turkey or something like that is going to be the main part of the portion of the, of the meal. But this is usually the uh, side dish, you know what I'm saying? So, come back here for a moment, guys. I do want to take a look here at the nutritional values here. Well, that was unfortunate, but I'll get I'll fix that uh, later here. Here's a good look here raw nutrition. I like the protein. Seven grams per serving is pretty good. Uh, only two grams of sugar. Fiber is low. I don't. I like a little bit of fiber, but too much is actually counterproductive in certain ways. You know, you know calories are fine overall. Yeah, I mean this thing only has three ingredients. You know, I like to see that. So yeah, you know, I'm cooking this stuff right now, guys. It takes me about 15 minutes to cook this. You know, I'm going to add some more water here for my pot. I'm going to put some more water in here. Put it in there. I'm going to stir it up. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to use metal when you're stirring or using anything because you can you can actually melt it. But, you know, whatever. You know. So, you know, we're getting pretty close to completion. I don't think we're done yet. I'm going to try one to see how to do And This is one thing I tend to do sometimes. Ow. So yeah, you can burn you a little bit. Yeah, I'm doing a pretty bad job here. I apologize for that. Um, give me one second. I apologize for that, but here is a pasta here. I'm going to try it. Hmm. Okay. Honestly, it's, it's about to be done. It really is about to be done here. I'm going to stir it up a little bit more. So... I use I use the top of my pot to strain it. You could use a separate strainer, but in that situation, there's an extra step of cleaning. I have to clean the strainer, you know what I'm saying here? But just use the pot here, it skips a step here. Okay, so we're gonna go strain it right now. We're back here guys, I just finished straining it. Unfortunately, there was no way for me to show you this process on camera. I attempted to do it, but yeah, let's just say it did not work out too uh, well. So, see, here's the benefit of the olive oil here. That really all the pasta came out on its own. I don't, I don't have to scrape anything. There's a little bit of fragments here, but for the most part, you know, it came out relatively uh, smoothly, you know. So, you know, I take my tomato sauce here. This is the one I use, Victoria. This is by far probably the best one in, in the store right now. You can't find this in Trader Joe. That's one thing I like to uh, complain about. The Trader Joe sauces they provide in their store is absolutely terrible, guys. You know, the sauce they have is not very good. So you really have to buy the sauce somewhere else. For some reason, Trader Joe, the tomato sauces they have there are disgusting. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say about that, but yeah, they're not good. So now, I mean, now we're done, guys. Now I'm going to try it here. I know what I'm tasting already, but, you know, I want to make sure it's good, you know. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good indeed. It's much better than anything else in the store right now, you know? So overall, guys, if you do want to buy this, Amazon link will be down below. Yes, you can buy this on Amazon, which is surprising to me, but it's there. So make sure you subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. Put on the notification bell as well so you don't miss any content. And check out PeeBosOnline.com for reviews, news, gameplay, and more great content. So yeah, I really like this. Thank you and bye.